Okay. I wonder if I can do a special off the ropes. That would be interesting. I don't know. Either way, I just wanna, I, I'll need to put this guy away now. Like that. If this doesn't do it, then nothing will, basically. I'll just pin him, for God's sake, Booker. That should do it. Oh, he kicked out. I'm glad he kicked out. That's fantastic. This makes this battle more epic. So the opponents are tougher the further you progress in this game. We did a little skip there, I like that. That's quite nice. Um, right, can I knock Jim down? It'd be interesting to see if I can. Knock him down a bit further. I mean, people are too slow. Okay. Now, if I can just hit him off the ropes. Oh! Jim moved. So I do like it. I think maybe I just need to um, get this guy. There we go. Right, we'll pin him. That should do it, I think. Yeah, there you go. Pin. Alright, so another victory. Now let's let's see where I am in the rankings. So that's pretty good, my points are shooting up. Oh, what's happening now? Oh, this is it guys, the US Heavyweight Championship. Once I do this then I've won the belt. That wasn't bad, just over an hour. Is that Mr. Perfect? It looks like Kurt Henning. Yes, and I've had the pl the pleasure of seeing him. I've only ever seen him wrestle once, though. It was in 2002 at a house show in Birmingham. It was him and Molly Holly versus Jerry the King Lawler and Trish Stratus. So yeah, it was, oh god, it's nearly 20 years ago now. It's probably one of the best wrestling shows I've been to. I've been to a few WWE ones, but that one, that house show always stands out to me. Had such a great time. All right, I need to win the belt now, and then that's the U.S. heavyweight one unlocked, beaten. I mean, I'm hopefully unlock. Sorry, I'm getting confused. I win the U.S. belt, and then I'll hopefully unlock the world heavyweight belt. Is what I'm trying to say. I said I will be doing multiple playthroughs. If you guys want to see me play as different characters, I'm I'm up for that. Be interesting to see um, different move sets and different characters. I kind of just want to do a whole bunch of these videos actually, and just do a different, different let's plays with different characters. Certainly keep me busy. It's the type of game I could play all day. This really good. Definitely gets a ten out of ten for me. So we'll try. Okay. Heading. Alright. Suplex. Oh. Yeah, it was also when I saw Kurt Heading, it was just before the plane ride from hell. Because I'm pretty sure. They, they toured the UK and they did a bunch of house shows and they did a pay-per-view in London, I think. I want to say Birmingham may have been the last stop on the tour to London, basically. It was the last house show, I think. Kurt Henning was on it, but they had the plane ride from hell incident in which all the wrestlers got drunk and there was lots of Tom Foley going around. I think it was rumoured that Ric Flair was basically naked under his robe. And, Probably being Ric Flair, styling and grow violin. I think Goldust was pestering Terry Runnels. Um, I think someone cut Michael Hayes' hair off. <laughs> I think it might have been X Pac. Uh, so there's lots going on. Kurt Henning did something, I can't remember what, but he was fired for it anyway. 
which is a shame because he's such a great wrestler. I mean, I would have find him personally, but then again, I can't remember now what he did, so I may have to look that up and let you guys know. But anyway, I'm dominating him here. I'm almost on the belt, so I'm almost there. Do this. Come on. Oh. It's ridiculous. Now he's getting the upper hand. But that's okay. I like a bit of fight. Got a rope break there. We'll keep trying. We'll keep trying. Oh. So he's reversing everything now. I need to win the belt. I don't know what happens if you lose a, lose a match though. That's the thing. I don't know if you go down in the rankings or what happens. Or will I get another shot against him? There you go. All I know is I've got to put Mr. Henning down very, very quickly. Just keep doing the same thing. Do a taunt. Just get up his energy up. There we go. Meters building and building that meter up. Yes, here we go, guys. This could be an easy victory for me if I can pull this off. Sidewalk slam. Come on, get up, Kurt. We'll do the scissor kick. Okay, we'll try killing him now. See if I can. See if that'll do it. No, two count. Almost there, though. Almost done, this, guys. So I think this is great because it's just enough. You know, like I was thinking, God, how? Not that I wouldn't have minded playing for longer, but about just over an hour is pretty good, actually, to to win the belt. So it'd be interesting to kind of play through the different modes. Um, I, so I know what to expect. Hopefully, there's loads of stuff to unlock as well. I hope there is anyway. God, I'm sorry guys, I kind of waited for a minute there. I was going to go to the top rope, but I hesitated. Come on. Oh! There we go. Come on, Kurt. Just kick his legs, there we go. Legs have been kicked. Alright, and once more. Suplex. No, he's reversed it. But that's good because I like the challenge. Alright, Kurt. Have that. Okay, come on, Booker. Strong grapple. Come on. There we go. Boom. His legs out. There we go. Try and build up that taunt meter again. Oh, I paused it by mistake now. Oh, you can choose to put the spirit meter on or off. So that means that you won't be able to see like, how you're doing. Well, that was a bit ridiculous, wasn't it? Mr. Henning. Now you're going to pay for that because I'm going to take your belt off you and I'm going to be the new champion. Special moves basically you're guaranteed to hit every time. Okay. I think I should do one more for good luck. I'll do one more move for good luck. Just to add an exclamation mark to the point that I'm going to be the new champion. Here we go guys, one, two, oh, two count, that is brilliant guys, that is fantastic, they don't make it too easy, alright Mr Henning, I'm going to knock you down now, I've got to 
keep kicking his kicking his ass now until I get the desired result. Good job. Yeah, it's fine. That move's finally worked. Um, close my pending. Okay. There we are. Lovely. Okay, let's pin that. This this doesn't do it then. There you go. I've won the belt from the new United States champion. Booker T is the champ. Fantastic. Right, let's see what happens, guys. Yeah, we know, we know the replay. Okay, so get the points. I should win the belt then, shouldn't I? That should be it. There you are, congratulations. Oh, look at that. Look badass. And now the new United, you have won the WCW US Heavyweight Belt with Booker T. Yes, damn right I have. I'm just gonna not press anything in case there's like more to it. So I just wanna kind of wait. To see if anything else is gonna happen. Because I don't want to skip any credit screens or anything. There we are. Rank. So I'm ranked first. Okay, good. So basically you ranked on points. By the looks of it. Okay, let me just put my name in if I can. I hope it's not the, the just the three letters initials because that's stupid. I've never understood that. Why can't you just put your full name in? Oh, that'd be alright. Need to see for Lucas. I'll do. L L U C. I can find it. Q. Oh, I'm going backwards. Where is it? I need to go forwards, don't I? Okay, that'll do. There we are. So I'm sixth in line. I've won the belt, but I'm sixth overall. DDP's the top. Okay, what now? You unlocked a secret character into your roster. His name is... Oh, it's Kurt Henning. Is it? Yes. Kurt Henning, you're looking good, Daddy. Woo! So I don't want to be too loud. There we go. Awesome. So it must save it then. Okay, so I've got Kurt Henning. Anything else? Or is that it? Credits. You get credits. That's fantastic. This game's perfect. Wow. So there's hidden characters and stuff, depending on who you play. So I'm definitely going to be playing more of this. Guys, I've had an absolute blast doing this. Um, it, it's. I, I'm so speechless now. This is one of the best wrestling games I've ever played in my life. Um, it doesn't have like the entrance music or anything, and, it, 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 but it's just so cool. It focuses on the wrestling solely, and and that's pretty good. Enjoyed this game so much. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing some more of this on my channel. So I've won the US title now. So hopefully that might unlock the big belt. Maybe I can go for that next, or maybe I've got to play the other belts first um, obviously the WCW World Heavyweight title has to be in this game I mean like it's on the credit so it wouldn't not be in the game so maybe I've got to unlock all the other ones first when the cruiserweight belt and the um, uh, tag belts but the funny thing is the TV titles not on here I want to know if the TV titles on here I'm gonna to have to do some research I think and to help me unlock everything on this game but this is cool this is, if you've not played this or you're into wrestling and you haven't and you want to know what old school wrestling game to play this is one of the best ones to play it's intuitive the controls are nice and simple it's fun as well it invokes a lot of memories Aki have worked really hard to make the move look so authentic um, it's it's, it's truly a winner, one of the best games I've ever had. And I will be purchasing um, the other WCW ones as well. I do have WrestleMania 2000, I might do that on my channel. I do have also WCW Mayhem for the N64, but it's not as good as the PlayStation version, I think, because they've taken out the commentary. 
So there's, uh, in terms of they've got Tony Schiavone, but they haven't got Bobby Heenan in, which makes no sense to me because he's on the PlayStation version, but he's not on the N64. So yeah, I might just do a slew of wrestling games. I think musical director Ben, I like it. Music composed by Ko Koji Nikura. So yeah, I just I, I love the Japanese in general, just the games that they develop, the dedication. Um, amazing. It's not to say there aren't other good developers, but they just seem to know how to make a good game. And a lot of games I played growing up um, in the retro years, sort of the NES games, a lot of them were made by Japanese companies. But who understood how to kind of make a game and how to get the ingredients just right. But yeah, this is amazing. This is a really good game. And I'm definitely going to be playing shed loads more of this on my channel. Um, so I look forward to uh, a wrestling explosion. I might just do two or three different wrestling games at a time. That'd be interesting to do. Special thanks to Megumi Hasegawa and Sherry. So yeah, they must have studied tapes and stuff and done a lot of motion capture. I don't know how they've done it, but this game's awesome. It's just so unlike any other game I've played. Um, Oh my god, yeah. I'm just speechless now, you guys. Okay, and what's also awesome is the credit sequence is long, and I love that in a game. I don't like credits that are short. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Back in the day, you complete a game, and you get a really long credit sequence, and that, to me, is exciting. Really exciting. And a lovely use of electric guitar as well. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, watching this. I've certainly enjoyed doing it. You know, um, it's been an absolute labour of love, to be honest. And the fact that it only takes about an hour or so to complete is perfect. You know, you never really... Um, I never felt like it was overly long, I felt it was just right, because when the opponents kept coming out one by one I thought, oh my god, I could be here all night, but luckily that's not the case. It might be a bit longer for the heavyweight belt I'm thinking, if, if I, I'm able to unlock that, so I'm going to have to do a little, as I said, a bit of research off camera and figure out how to do all that, but apart from that, brilliant game, fantastic. So yeah, I'm definitely going to get, um, what's the other one, is it WCW NWO World Tour? I think that's the next one, the one I need to get. In fact, if I go into eBay and I type in N64 games, I can see, I can see what comes up, basically. I can do that now while I'm watching the credit sequence, let's see. Yeah, and WCW's NWO Tour Wrestling Power Game Cartridge. Well, there's Warzone, there's Attitude, there's ECW, wow, that's cool, NWO Revenge, which I've got, I'm sure there was another one, I'm sure there's more than just one, I'm just going to type in WCW N64, WCW games and see what it comes up with, let's see, Hmm. No, there may have just been two. There just seems to be World Tour. WCW, NWO, World Tour and Revenge. Why did I think there was three? Maybe I'm getting confused. Wow, cool. So I'm definitely going to get that then. That's going to be a must have, a must purchase. Yeah, you know, but I thought what was really cool was like I saw the old wrestling games in my local CEX and I was like, I had to have them. I mean, they had Attitude there, but to be honest, uh, I wasn't too keen. I mean, Attitude at the time, don't get me wrong, Attitude was great. I mean, at the time, it sort of uh, satisfied my wrestling urge. Um, after Warzone, I will always have fun memories of, but Attitude came along and... Don't get me wrong, before knowing that there was a Smackdown coming out, 
it it was it was okay. It didn't have it had the entrances. I think that was what appealed to me, but it didn't have any yeah like promos like in Warzone. That's the thing that kind of let no kind of story. You just it was just sort of a you know you grapple and fight, move on to the next one. Whereas this game does that, but it just does it in a more quick way. It's not too long winded. Whereas I found actually to be very long. And I granted you could save your game, but it just felt like you fought one opponent and then moved on. Didn't seem to be a lot of variety in that game. And I'm not knocking it because at the time it was really, really good. Anyway, is that it now? Presented by Aki. Yes, I think we can go back to the beginning now. Right, so there you go, guys. Uh, all that's left to say is thank you very much. This has been Lucas McIntosh. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out one of my retro Let's Play videos. I really appreciate it. If you are indeed enjoying my content and like to see more, why not hit that subscribe button? Because that way you'll be instantly subscribed to my channel and notified every time I upload a new video and I've got new content coming each and every single week. Join me next time as I'm going to try and battle for another championship in WCW NWO revenge uh don't forget to check me out on twitter at dodge this game for all that is happens on my channel i'll see you soon game gamers for some more wcw nwo action